The next one we're gonna do is copying an angle. So what we're gonna do is usually you're typically given an angle, but we're going to construct or just make a quick angle. So I'm gonna just draw a line somewhere and it's gonna be an acute angle. So just draw a line using your straight edge, your compass or your um, protractor or whatever, make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to make another line intersecting that first line should be an acute angle. That vertex is a point and we're gonna call it point A. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to somewhere else on my paper make A prime. So I'll have a point A prime. You're going to draw a line coming off of A prime. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, nothing super long. Okay, so once you have that, what we're gonna do is we are gonna put the eye of our compass on our original A. Make sure it's perfect. And I'm going to open, close it just slightly. I don't want it over my angle, that wouldn't make sense. So I'm gonna close it to make sure that it's gonna pass through each of these sides. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because I don't need to be super crazy. Um, and then I'm gonna make- Aaliyah Thompson, if you're on campus, could you please report to the front office? Aaliyah Thompson, if you're on campus, please report to the front office. One large arc that goes through each side of my angle. So one large arc, do not scratch back and forth. And then we're not going to mess with our protractor. We're gonna slide it nicely over to A prime, hover over A prime, make sure your eye is perfectly. Mia Camarino, if you're in the building, can you come to the front office? Mia Camarino, if you're in the building, can you come to the front office? I'm gonna use that same measurement and draw a nice big arc going across. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually ultimately gonna measure this angle. So I'll, I'm gonna take my compass, I'm gonna put my eye on either one of these intersections, it doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna put it up here, make sure your eye is perfectly on that intersection, push down so it does not move. And I'm gonna enclose so that way my first hole is going to hopefully perfectly be over that intersection right there that I made with my arc and the original line. I'm gonna put an arc there and then I'm gonna move this to this intersection over here using my eye. I'm gonna basically put my eye here and then I'm gonna use my first hole that's unmoved and make a new arc going through this. Now I'm gonna connect A prime to this intersection. And that is the copy of an angle. If you wanna make sure your angles match, you can use your protractor, pause the video, rewind the video as you need to, practice as many times as you need to.